Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. If you're relatively new to post-processing and you're an Adobe Creative Cloud subscriber, there's something that Adobe offers that I believe is underutilized. Adobe has a community where photographers upload their processed images along with their step-by-step -step edits for those images and you could learn how someone might go about processing an image directly looking at their kind of screen as they're editing their image and if you again if you're new to photography this might help you also if you're an experienced photographer but you're stuck in a rut this could help bring your post-processing in a different direction something you might not have thought of in the past now, to access this community, you must open up Adobe Lightroom. Now, this is not Adobe Lightroom Classic. This is what many of us call the cloud version of Lightroom. Um, I have it open here. And of course, if you are an Adobe Creative Cloud subscriber, you will have access to this app. Um, it's part of your subscription. So open up Adobe Lightroom. And then at the top on the left-hand panel, you'll see Discover. Click on Discover, and that will take you to this community I'm talking about. And you could see a number of images that were uploaded by various photographers. And they're the process version is what you're looking at. Now, if you want to see a before, after, just hover over an image. So this one on the far left of somebody hiking down this trail. If I hover over it, there's before and there's after. Now if I want to, like that kind of interests me, click on it and once you click on it on the right hand panel you'll see it's stepping through the edits that this photographer did. And you can see the uh, image change as it's stopping through those edits. Also, if you really really like the edit done on the image, you could save it as a preset. Now save as preset might not be available uh, for every single image it's up to the photographer who upload uploads their image to this community whether or not they want to allow a preset to be available but again you could just click through and maybe this will you know help you learn about post-processing and or again if you're an experienced photographer this might give you an idea uh, that will help you take your edits in a different direction a way you haven't thought of going in the past and you could see there's thousands probably of images here so you could just keep going through until you see something you like and i thought this one was um interesting by nick boxall you could see that it's a dramatic edit the original image actually is very nice uh, but it's a quite dramatic edit and when i click on it you'll see it will step through the steps this photographer took and the interesting thing is he converted it to black and white right away and then what he does he does some color grading to give it that kind of uh, evening, kind of uh, eerie look to it. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Now, so let's just say that I really like this edit. It looks like a kind of an old time film edit. I'm gonna save the preset. So I'll go down here and click on save preset. And this dialog box will pop up and it's gonna default to the name that the photographer gave the preset along with his name or her name. Um, in this case, Beach in the Forest by Nick Boxall. I'm just gonna keep that original name. Uh, where do you wanna save this preset? I'll save it right to Save Presets. And then it's select what parts of his edits you want to uh, keep in this preset. In this case, I'm gonna keep everything that he edited the way he edited it, and I'll just click Save. All right, so now I saved this edit as a preset. Now let's go back. Uh, let's go back to my original image here. Now to access it, go to the edit panel over here on the right hand side. And this is the edit I did on this image, but go to presets and it's under saved presets, which is right here. And if I hover over the preset, there's that look, that kind of, kind of eerie night look that Nick did on his image. I now have the preset that I could use on my image. Now this preset is in Lightroom not Lightroom Classic. If you are like me and you more often use Lightroom Classic and you want to get this preset into Lightroom Classic, all you need to do is hover over the preset, right click on it, 
and click on export. Then where do you want to export the preset to? I'm going to export it to my desktop and I'll click export and it's on my desktop now. So I'm going to close down Lightroom and on my desktop, there it is right there, uh, Beach in the Forest by Nick. And I'm going to then open up Lightroom Classic. And now I'm going to import this image into Lightroom Classic. And to do that, uh, when you're in the Develop module, go up to Presets. Just click on this little plus sign right here and click on Import Presets. Then go to the, where you save that preset, in this case on my desktop, click Import and it is there under Save Presets. Now it's in Lightroom uh, Classic as well as Lightroom, which again, many of us call the cloud version of Lightroom. So that's how you could maybe expand your repertoire, learn some different types of post-processing. Uh, you might find something there you like, something that you could maybe take part of it and make it your own by you know, adding something else to it or taking something away from it. Whatever. And again, if you're new to post-processing, that may help you see how other people edit images and it may help you edit your images. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.